Swiss athlete Benny Hug and French mountaineer Tony Spalby have tackled numerous extreme ski climbing expeditions together. For their latest feat, the two set their sights on potentially their most demanding challenge yet by attempting to climb Switzerland and France's highest peaks, the Dufour Spitze and Mont Blanc, in one tour. We have established three goals for our two-day tour. An important destination in Switzerland is the Dufour Peak, the highest border mountain in the country. Then we've set Mont Blanc as our final goal. In between those two is the very famous Haute Route. We want to combine all three in one long ski tour, which will mean around 15,000 meters of vertical climbing and nearly 150 kilometers in distance. The weather forecast looks good and we're both really looking forward to the challenge. Starting off in Zermatt in the shadow of the Matterhorn, Warm weather forced the two adventurers to carry their skis in the bottom region of the Mont Rosa. Despite the tricky conditions, the first part of Huggins Bobby's tour was successful, and they reached the 4,634 meter high Defour Peak in just over six hours. After climbing down and taking a two hour nighttime break, the two athletes ski down towards Bourg Saint Pierre in pristine nighttime conditions before heading forward on the Haute route between Switzerland and France. Regrouping at the imposing Mont Blanc mountain chain, Hug and Spalby performed a thorough equipment check before taking off for the final push to reach the summit of the highest mountain in the Alps. In near perfect conditions, the two adventurers climbed through demanding technical passages on their way to the peak. Despite growing fatigue, their combined experience prevailed, and after just under 50 hours, they reached the summit of Mont Blanc. It's unbelievable that we managed it. I really wasn't sure we could complete the challenge, but now we're here, and we did it in under 50 hours. I've been dreaming of completing the trilogy of the Dufour Peak, Haute Route, and finishing on Mont Blanc for two years now. It's incredible to have done it, and now I'm feeling very tired.